Why can love become so dangerous? Why is it so flammable, let's call it? What is it about love? The problem with love, brothers and sisters, is that it's much bigger than we think. Initially, you think you're in control. You're the one who invites love. You decide whether you fall in love or not. Because you can stop it from the first encounter. Initially, you think you're in control. But then the human being becomes overtaken by love. It grows so big and so powerful that you tend to lose control. Love does not play by your rules. It plays by its own rules. That's the problem with it. It becomes very dangerous because you will find yourself in a situation where you can no longer control it. You can no longer control your heart. This is one reason why it's dangerous. The second reason why it's dangerous potentially is because the sacrifice that comes with it is so huge. It's an immense sacrifice. Many people don't know what they're signing up for. Many people after they fall in love and they become miserable after a breakup or a problem, then they realize, what have I done to myself? This was such a huge sacrifice that wasn't worth it. Now why is it a big sacrifice? Because when you fall in love with someone, you actually give a part of yourself to that person. The personality of that other figure will become a part of your personality. You know, Aristotle says, he describes love beautifully. He says, love is basically one soul in two bodies. What happens is when people fall excessively in love with each other, what happens is that you see that yourself and your soul and your personality gets infused with that other person. It's as if you can become one entity, one soul occupying two bodies. Now the danger is that when that person decides to leave you, to betray you, to walk away from you, you're left shattered. It's as if this person has ripped a part of your personality with him. It's as if this person has taken half of your soul. And you're left miserable. You're left shattered. This feeling of abandonment. Some people describe it, you know, when they're in that state, betrayed by their partner, or their partner decides to walk away. You know how they describe it? Like a helpless, hopeless baby left abandoned in the middle of the desert. That's how they feel. And subhanAllah, what does the hadith say? One beautiful hadith exactly describes this consequence. The hadith says, وَالْهِجْرَانْ عُقُوبَةُ الْعِشْقِ One of the consequences, one of the punishments of falling in love excessively, you know, this premarital romantic love that comes with dating, for example. The consequence is what? Al-Hijran, a feeling of abandonment. Once Al-Imam al-Sadiq was asked about this excessive love, this premarital romantic love. You know what the Imam salam says? In this hadith, the Imam says, Qulubun khalat min dhikrillah. You have hearts who are devoid of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will subject this heart to the love of others. When you don't make room in your heart for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will tell you, okay. Go and love whomever, whomever you want. This excessive love where you annihilate yourself. You don't see anything in the world but that person. Because that's how it is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you will suffer. Let that person help you. Let's see what that person can do for you. The reason why it's so dangerous and the Imam salam is warning us is because essentially people in this state 
instead of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, essentially they start worshipping the other person. Because that person becomes their hope. I can't fun function with that person. If I don't get to be with that person, I'm going to kill myself. Life is not worth living anymore. Can you imagine what a person has done to himself? When a weak, miserable human being who will die one day and be decomposed, when this person, this weak being, now becomes your only hope in the universe. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in the picture. Allah is not the one who is the source of your hope. Then realize how bad you've been drugged. Because it is a drug. 